so I'm smoking a brisket today and um, made a interesting discovery temperature is a little high right now but I'm working on bringing it down um, need to raise up that thermometer a little bit there we go Whew, it's hot um, yeah, firebox looks all right. So I have this thing. It's called a Therm Pro. Picked it up at Academy. It's a two-piece device. Um, this is just the transmitter. It has uh, an actual thermometer hooked up to it. It just reads the temperature and broadcasts that out. There's also another piece, which is much larger. Looks kind of like uh, like this one. This is my old one. But the larger piece. Uh, reads this temperature and it'll let you set up different alerts based on the kind of meats you're smoking and everything else but the uh the problem is is i lost that part and uh i really needed this working today and i didn't want to go buy another one i mean it's cheap it's 35 dollars, but uh you can see i've i've already gone through a couple of different models and i like this one i did some digging looked up the uh this device and Turns out somebody did a teardown for it, and they discovered that uh, the transmitter module in here is a CYF-115. And they kindly uh, linked me to the data sheet, which tells me that it transmits on 433 megahertz, or thereabout, which is well within the amateur radio band. And for the last two or three months, I've been learning quite a bit about amateur radios. I have my antenna up right here. I got licensed at the beginning of August, and here we are at the beginning of October. So I've learned quite a bit about radios within that time frame. And this frequency being within the amateur radio band, I'm pretty well equipped to uh, receive that signal. So I went and pulled up my SDR on my computer, and sure enough, every 10 seconds, I'd see a little blip. And if you look very closely, every 10 seconds here, this will light up, and there will be a little transmitter signal in there. So, I thought, sure enough, I'm receiving the signal. But then I needed to decode it, so I found this library on GitHub called RTL-433, 433 being the frequency that this transmits on. And running that, sure enough, it uh, receives all the information. It even shows the model number for this, for this uh, little device. And it's reading out the, uh, the temperatures here. It reads it out in Celsius. Um, but, you know, it's nothing to convert that to Fahrenheit. So, yeah. Getting my amateur radio license and learning a bunch about radios has helped me save this brisket. Or at least making, uh, making my job a little bit more convenient as far as uh, cooking this brisket. Thank <laughs> you.